Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three recipes for you today. Two of them turned out like perfection and the other one was a bit of a fail. So if you're excited to see the three recipes that I have for you this week, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and ring your bell so you never miss a future video. I do upload lots and lots of new videos every single week, about five. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching as well as links, discounts to my favorite things and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I am making a homemade protein bar. And I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys because protein isn't only found in meat and dairy. There are other great ways to get in lots and lots of protein. So this is a simple protein bar recipe, six ingredients. Let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some whole milk, salt, sweetener of your choice. As always, I am using my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. That is my very, very favorite sweetener. Very similar to regular sugar. I will link it down below with 15% off for you. You're going to need some roasted and salted peanuts, some Reese's zero sugar peanut butter cup or any sugar-free peanut butter cup, and some hemp seeds. In a saucepan over medium to medium high heat, you're going to add one half of a cup of your Lakanto sweetener and one quarter cup of whole milk. We're going to allow this to simmer rapidly. We wanna make sure we're stirring it frequently until the mixture begins to thicken. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up 12 zero sugar Reese's peanut butter cups. Keep stirring until your mixture is nice and thick so you can see that it's starting to thicken up. You want to make sure that you're constantly stirring so that it doesn't burn. Once your mixture is nice and thick, we're adding in one cup of hemp hearts, one cup of chopped peanuts, your chopped up zero sugar Reese's peanut butter cups, and a pinch of salt. Go ahead and stir all of that together and then we're going to add it to a greased nine by nine baking dish. And then take the back of your spoon and press them into place. So here is what our protein bars look like. We're going to allow this to cool to room temperature and then I'm going to pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours to get them nice and solidified. I was going to share with you some tips. If you didn't want to use the zero sugar Reese's, you could use Lily's chocolate chips, you could use white chocolate butterscotch chips. I mean, you could really change up the component that you're adding to it in place of the Reese's peanut butter cups if you would like, but I really wanted to play on the peanut butter vibe of these bars. I'll go ahead and pop these in the refrigerator and I'll be back to share with you the completed protein bars. We'll go over points and calories. Our protein bars are all solidified so we're actually going to cut these into 12 bars and I will have one of these along with some eggs and maybe some fruit as part of my breakfast. You can see how delicious these look with all of those peanuts. So this is the size of the protein bar. So they're actually really, really good size. And again, pair that with some eggs and fruit for a perfect breakfast. For my lunch this week, I am making a homemade chicken patty. I'm going to have this either on a bun or a low carb wrap or maybe even in a lettuce wrap. Lots of options with these, a really healthy version of a chicken patty. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need all purpose flour, one pound of ground chicken as lean as you can find, dill and parsley, you can use dried or fresh, salt, pepper, green onions, light mayonnaise, and an egg. So to make our chicken patties, it is super simple. Everything goes into one bowl. So I have my one pound of ground chicken, one cup of all-purpose flour, one egg, two tablespoons of light mayo, salt and pepper, 
dill and parsley. And your green onion, this is two green onions chopped. Go ahead and stir that all together. Make sure you mix everything very, very well. You're going to spray a rather large skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. And we want six patties total. So I'm probably going to do four and then two maybe, because I don't think I'll be able to fit all six in my pan. Go ahead and form those out and then put them into your pan. These are looking super good. Just make sure they're cooked 100% through and that flour is going to give them a crispy consistency, kind of like a fried chicken patty. So just make sure they're nice and crispy and cooked through. So the chicken patties are done. These look really good and they smell delicious. I'm going to allow them to cool just a bit, package them up for the week and I'll be back to share points and calories. And here are the chicken patties. These look so incredibly delicious. Like I said, you can put these on a bun, in a low carb wrap, a lettuce wrap. You can add any sauce to the top. Tzatziki would be amazing. You could make this into a regular hamburger. There are so many things you can do with this recipe. And the great part about it, they are only one point per patty. That is not bad at all for a chicken patty. I will go ahead and put all the calories, serving sizes, everything here on the screen for you, but I am pretty excited for this week's lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I am making strawberry pie. This is so bright and fresh for spring and summer and super, super easy. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need sweetener. Of course, again, I'm using Lakanto. Don't forget that it is linked down below with 15% off for you. Whole milk, one third less fat cream cheese, vanilla extract. I went ahead and made my life easy and went with a pre-made pie crust. You can make it yourself, but the points end up being about the same. So for ease in this recipe to make it simple, I went with the pie crust and then you'll need some fresh strawberries. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice up some strawberries. You want a minimum of one cup, but I say the more strawberries, the better. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just dice up this whole container of strawberries. to do is add one and a half cups of whole milk to a large bowl. With my mixer, I'm just going to beat this until it thickens. And we're going to add 10 tablespoons of Lakanto. And then our eight ounces of softened one third less fat cream cheese, vanilla extract, and all of our diced strawberries. And with your mixer, you're going to mix that together until smooth. We're going to add the filling to the pie crust. So as you can see, there is a ton of the filling left. So there is definitely enough for two pie crusts. I only purchased one crust, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the fridge, allow it to set up. And then with this extra filling, I'm just going to put it in a container because you could add this to the mini graham cracker shells. You could also just eat this as it is. It would be just a really yummy, light, sweet treat. So here is the pie. You can see that it is set up pretty good from being in the refrigerator. However, my recommendation for you would be to use a light cool whip instead of using whole milk and trying to whip it up to like a whipped cream consistency. I think that would actually be a lot better and it wouldn't change the points really at all. I will on my website list the points for the way I made the recipe and with the whipped cream. I just think that that would be much easier and you wouldn't have all of this leftover pie mix that you have to use up or put into another pie crust. So pro 
tip, learn from my mistake and go with some Cool Whip, but I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving sizes here on the screen for the recipe as it stands. No one talks about the aftermath of meal prep, so I wanted to share with you guys a brand new dish drying rack that we got when we moved into our new house in Arizona, and this thing is the creme de la creme of dish racks. It is stainless steel, it is large capacity, so it enables this dish rack to store dishes, bowls, plates, and other kitchenware. You can see that I'm putting my really large bowl in here as well as that large skillet and the saucepan. I absolutely love that there's a cutlery holder for knives so that it keeps them nice and safe and allows them to dry completely. You should never put your knives in the dishwasher. It has a 360 swivel spout that makes sure the dish rack works well beside any sink. Again, it is durable stainless steel. It has anti-scratch attachments and the four silicone leg cap and five cup holder caps perfectly protect cup and countertop from scratches. It is multifunctional with that cutlery holder, cutting board holder, and a wine glass holder that meets your needs for storing all of your kitchenware safely as it continues to dry. It's affordable, it's aesthetically pleasing. In fact, it looks really nice sitting out on your kitchen counter, and then you can just pop it in a cabinet for storage. I will link it down below with 15% off for you and nothing. I'm I mean, nothing feels better than a nice, clean kitchen, dishes done, and drying in the kitchen dish rack. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. Take my pro tip on that pie and change up that one ingredient and it should turn out perfect. I really hope you enjoyed these three recipes and as always, they will be on my website that will be linked down in the description box for you along with nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things and don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook, we'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe, I'd love to have you join my community. Thank you so much for watching friends, happy Monday and I'll see you next time. Bye.